Welcome to my repair videos. This time I have an HP laptop that won't turn on. First, I remove the battery and connect it to the bench power supply to see the consumption behavior of the machine. When I connect it to the bench power supply I see that it consumes about 13 milliamps. Pressing the power button, the laptop consumes an additional 1 milliamp. Here is the computer model, HP 14-, a C104 liters A. I disassemble the computer so that I can check the power button and the motherboard. Using a multimeter, I put the negative lead on the ground and the red lead to each of the pins on the power button connector to look for the 3.3 volt signal. When I press the power button the 3.3 volt signal should change to 0 volts. And when I release the button it should go back to 3.3 volts. The button is fine. Here, under the Wi-Fi module is dirty. It can be seen better under the microscope. There are other parts of the motherboard that are dirty too. This appears to be part of an insect that stuck to the duct tape. Near the processor is also dirty. On the other side of the motherboard, we have this area that looks very bad. I am going to try to repair this motherboard. First, I clean with a soft bristle brush. I scrape the rust and dirt off the pins with a scalpel, gently and carefully.
I clean with a stiff bristle brush. I apply a little bit of flux. I re-solder the pins with leaded solder. I clean with isopropyl alcohol and a stiff bristle brush. The Wi-Fi module connector looks like new. I clean the other areas of the motherboard. I clean with the soft bristle brush. I use the stiff bristle brush if necessary. The cleaning fluid can be isopropyl alcohol or contact cleaner. This area is the most affected. First, I clean with the soft bristle brush. I dry the liquid a bit and apply flux. I set the hot air station at about 300 degrees centigrade. Flux removes oxidation and can be used to clean rusty areas on the motherboard. With fine tip tweezers, I scrape off the dirt that is stuck to the components. It is not good to heat up this area too much since the CPU is on the other side.
Now that it is fairly clean, I dry the liquid with the hot air station. I put pieces of rosin on it. I melt the rosin with the air station. It's a bit thick, so I'm going to add a rosin and alcohol mix to it. I apply air at about 300 degrees centigrade to evaporate the alcohol, thus leaving a layer of rosin on the affected components. Once it cools it solidifies and remains to protect that area of the motherboard. This layer of rosin prevents the components from coming into contact with oxygen, so they will not reoxidize. I connect the motherboard partially to test it. It turns on, but does not load windows, because the hard disk is not connected. I will assemble the laptop. It's working. If you like the video, press the like button. And remember to subscribe. See you in the next video.